Hey, what's up, Ghostbuster fans? This is Johnny Mo. Today, I got the Spangler Wand from the Hasbro Plasma series. We're going to be unboxing it and reviewing it. Let's take a look. So the box already is pretty cool. Kind of looks like a uh, old toolbox. Got the new Ghostbusters branding on it. I love it. Looks like a uniform with the patch. Pretty sweet. Spangler's Neutrono Wand from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Looks like it comes with a stand and some other cool stuff. Let's open it up and see what we got. See it already, there's a lot of tape on this thing. So this is of course called the Spangler Wand, based off of Egon Spangler's Proton um, Blaster. Rest in peace, Harold Ramis. It's a shame he didn't get to make it for this new Ghostbusters movie. If only it hadn't been delayed so many times, maybe in another world we could have seen that happen. Alright, I think we're getting there. A couple more pieces of tape. <laughs> There we go. Oh wow, check that out guys. That is beautiful packaging. Beautiful presentation. Let's check this baby out. locked in place with this over here. I'm guessing that's the stand. Wow. This thing is beautiful. The detail in this Check it out, guys. Look at this beautiful piece of equipment. Ghost busting equipment right here. This thing's got a heft to it, man. It's nice and heavy. It really feels like a machine. Unlike those cheap hollow props that are going around back in the spirit back in the spirit gun yeah this is serious business check this out oh 
whole bunch of working switches, buttons, the bar graph light looks like it actually will light up. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, this is the stand. Looks like um, corrugated uh, metal, like diamond lath or whatever. Really industrial. Probably the lore of it is it's bits and bobs that he got had laying around his workshop. You can see it's got like all these weld spots and it was really just thrown together just like all the Ghostbusters equipment so the booklet many different languages of which I understand none of them I'll be reading that. Requires three AA batteries. Here's the assembly instructions for the stand. It's really pretty straightforward. There you go, so you can see what that looks like. Check that out. I'm going to grab some batteries. This end on screws back here. Here's your battery cart, uh, battery holster. And they've made it so you can't put it in backwards. It's smaller on the front end and it's got to stop on the back. That's pretty good. Don't have to worry about getting the batteries stuck. Guys, I'm so excited to fire this baby up. So let's see, we got this lever here. unlocks the, uh, I guess it's the ion blaster, I probably have that wrong, but where the proton stream comes out, I never actually realized this until recently, but this isn't just for space saving, and it's actually a feature that's in the movies, it's hard to see, but when they get off the elevator, if you look closely, you'll see them extend the wands. Get ready for action. It's pretty cool that when you extend it and retract it, it makes a pretty cool sound. So let's see, we got a whole bunch of switches here. Okay, I guess they have to be flipped in a certain order. So that light comes on. Our graph comes on, all the other lights come on. There it is. Oh yeah, I love that sound. That's what I hate about the spirit back. Oh wow, it's even got the shutdown sound. That's awesome. Spirit back, you turn it on, all you hear is the, uh, the stream. 
There's no startup sounds, no ignition. Oh, I love it. Dude, this thing shakes when you fire it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it shaking. But it's got quite a rumble to it. shuts down. That's a feature from the video games. I wonder if they'll introduce that in the movie. It's pretty cool when you're, when you're throwing your stream too long in the game, your pack starts beeping and you can vent the pack. Um, the bottom of the pack opens up, vents the exhaust gas uh, so that the system doesn't overheat. But once it does, you gotta start all over again. Do the whole boot up sequence. So let's do it guys, ready? I think you know where I'm going with this. Do Ray Egon So this button up here There's different modes. If you're familiar with the uh, video game, there's the boson blaster, there's the slime blower. So if you do this, this orange button here, you can cycle between the modes. Now we're in slime mode, you can see the wine changes color. on my back. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Actually, you know what? Before I go, let's put this stand together. God, I love those shutdown sounds. So the gun is beautifully detailed. Lots of different colors and finishes. Really looks weathered. You got like these weld marks, all the wear and tear, the different gloss finishes, real like metal knobs. Oh, here's one thing I forgot. This is the intensity. This will turn up the volume and how much it vibrates. And, um,. Yeah, this is so freaking amazing, guys. This really is like a work of art. True collector's item, that's for sure. So yeah, the proton wand is beautiful. The lights, the finish, the stand, however. I definitely see myself doing more with this. Maybe putting like a rusty patina on this. Making the welds pop out like, like on the blaster. But let's get it together and see what we got. Oh, this is if, uh, if you're gonna do like me and you're gonna put it on your back, this piece right here, you can take off the battery cover. 
put this one on on its place and you can put the hose for the back right over it. That's definitely going to come in handy. One last thing to have to modify to make it fit. Speaking of make it fit, it's already got your steel V-hook uh, receiver on the bottom. Um, it's got the gun rack. I guess in uh, Afterlife they have a gun grip. That's pretty cool. That's different than the traditional. Now back to the stand. Let's see. How does this look like this goes? Let's take a look at here. Short one in the front, tall one in the back. Uh, there's a little notch in the plate so you can see exactly where it fits in and which goes on which end. This has a wide notch, this has a skinny notch. I like the attention to detail. This piece goes in the middle. Just like that. Not sure where this plate goes. Oh, I see it sits in the V hook track. Slides right in just like that. Supposed to lay flat. Do I not have something in all the way? Oh, there we go. You just gotta keep it off of the grip. So there we have it, guys. The Hasbro Plasma Series, Egon Spangler Plasma. Uh, sorry, neutral. <laughs> Neutrona wand doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. I think they used to be called neutrino wands, no? I wonder why the name changed. But this is beautiful. Amazing, amazing piece, guys. I love it. We will definitely be able to bust some serious ghosts with this thing. It's just like busting ghosts. This thing makes me feel good. I'm Johnny Mo, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this. If you did, please click that like button. Please subscribe. Really helps me out. Now, let's throw them, boys.